hello hello welcome back to the channel thank you to everyone who have been tuning in i truly appreciate every single one of you so we have just moved into our new space this is our office this is my very first time having an office i've never had an office before so i'm super super excited i am working on um you know the audio i'm going to be working i don't know if i'm going to be working on visual because i really like bringing these readings to you guys like this where you guys can actually see the cards and everything like that so with that being said you guys please keep in mind that this channel does not do comments thank you for all your likes subscribes and shares this is going to be a video for virgo now here on the channel we have been doing the readings um based off of the astrological body the order that we are doing the readings is as follows aries uh Thaudos, gemini cancer leo virgo libra scorpio sagittarius Capricorn, Aquarius, and we end in Pisces, okay? So with that being said, you guys, I do have here your pertaining Archangel. Um, but I will tell you that in a minute after we do this Archangel Tarot deck here. So this is going to be a guidance from above reading, all right? So we're going to be looking at what is your angelic message and also, we're doing five sections, present, love, you, environment, and the process or the journey for you guys. So with that being said, I'm going to begin. Oh, I do want to tell you guys that when I was lighting up my awakening protection candle, and then I was using it, which I normally don't do, but I was using that particular candle to light up my Palo Santo. And the flame was dancing all around, <laughs> all around the Palo Santo, but except lighting up the Palo Santo. So with that being said, that's just letting me know, um, you know, be mindful. Um, maybe someone is going to be uh, recently or pretty soon trying to light up your flame light up your passion fire to me is about the wands okay so that could be um aries sagittarius and leo okay so it might have to do with some of those but right now we are talking about virgo 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 you know you guys that represents the intestines and i don't know if a lot of you know that like that's the digestive area so just be mindful of how your digestive system feels too um if you have issues with your digestive system or you suspect that you do make sure you get them checked out always remember we are what we eat you guys so that's a very good tip here that i don't know that just came in um so let me see here what do we need to know for virgo for the present you really had me going there shuffling we're getting the ten of pentacles we're getting the honorable god inner and outer work helps one keep their job protects against disasters Mm, I love that. Ten of Pentacles. So this is like making sure that your position is there, stable, permanent, right? Ooh. Six of Swords. Hmm. The Gentle God. Perception of unity protects against accidents and heals the sick. I like that. Didn't I just talk about your intestines, Virgo? yeah so just be mindful of the intestines guys also keep in mind too you don't need to only have virgo in your chart these readings like i said we're watching the astrological but we are not watching hmm we're not watching the astrological body but we are the astrological body that's so weird as above so below so that's coming into uh all right virgo so you might be getting watched by the divine the divine might be watching you guiding you influencing you keep in mind if the influence that you are receiving is good influence and you know you are being divinely guided if they would never have you do something that's bad i'm going to tell you that right now i don't know why i need to tell you that because the six of swords is like walking away 
walking away from a situation, right? It's like feeling like you need to move on. It's also about accepting lessons too. It's kind of like if you don't accept this lesson, this is something that can stay more longer than what you would like for it to stay. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Now we're going in. All right. So what do we need to know for the love? Oh, death. Okay. So death is God, the end of the universe. Endings and rebirth influences health and longevity. All right. So here's the thing. It's like if time is running out. Maybe you need to give ending to uh, a negative pattern or a negative behavior, but there's definitely something here that has to do with love. In the position of love, it could be ending a connection or ending the way that you are in a particular connection. Maybe you need to change your character. Can I get one more? That one wanted to come out and it had a hard time, like if it was stubborn. Four of Wands. Rectification helps one live in peace with everyone. Four of Wands is about stability. It's about foundation. It's about, you know, becoming more stable, more sturdy, more, um, you know, it's just like really stern. This also has to do about home. It has to do with the community. So, huh. I don't know if you need to stop telling people things or maybe you've told someone something and they don't want you to do that. It's like if, yes, you receive excitement because you're able to tell that th them about that. But then there's sort of like some type of ending here or something that's chaotic that needs to end. All right. Let me see here. What do we need to know for Virgo in the you position for Virgo? Virgo is getting Queen of Cups. God the Redeemer. Redemption serves against enemies of religion and governs chastity. And this is challenging. This is the Nine of Wands. This is God the Impenetrable Secret. Wow. Universe, medicine, elevation of the soul, and the revelation of mysteries. You know, this is why I like... This is why I like learning different ways of reading tarot. This angel is holding two crowns. And I believe, I'm pretty sure what I'm seeing here is a masculine crown and a feminine crown. Because it's challenging for you to nurture this situation, because it's challenging for you to give this individual a last chance. But I'm going to tell you right now, Virgo, it's like if you need to give a last chance because you don't know what's at play or what's at stake or what the destiny is or, or why the connection is the way it is between you and this person. I just heard stubbornness. And the only two that I know from... <laughs> From astrology, well, three that could be stubborn, Aries, Thaudos, and Gemini. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm being directed to say here. Stubbornness, Aries, Thaudos, and Gemini. So I don't know if that's what you're dealing with. All right. What do we need to know for the environment for Virgo? Tell us. Ooh, that went back in. What is going on with the environment for Virgo? Why are these cards reacting like that? We're getting the Empress. By nature, you are the Empress. This is Godfather, the generous. Fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. I'm just going to say this as nice as possible to you, Virgo, but I don't know if your person is a female. And if they give you, if they're giving you issues, like <clears throat> a female or a mother or a baby mama giving you issues, I feel like I'm talking to a masculine here. What we need to know for the journey or the process for Virgo, Ten of Cups, wow, and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This is God, Master of the Universe divine warrior confounds the wicked brings victory and peace and then the wheel of fortune archangel metatron this is the forcing and that's crazy because you know what that's why i didn't want to tell y'all 
about y'all angel. I will show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all your the deck that I'm using to tell you what your angels are for. Okay, this is I did this myself. Um, so your particular angel Virgo, this is so crazy because your particular angel has now come out in the reverse, which is within this. It says advancement and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. But I feel like our Archangel Metatron being in the reverse here is kind of like trying to let you know, like, hey, this is not in your favor. The way this situation is going, it's not supposed to be this way. Now, here in my notes, I have loving and protected guide for the loving and sensitive people definitely can help you free yourself from situations that no longer serve you courage and confidence to make important changes in your life you can call upon him to release the fears that are holding you back so then um ask for his help when you want to understand the mysteries of the universe so that's your archangel right there and he's letting you know that you don't need to understand it you don't need to understand it, Virgo. You just need to know it's not for you. Because here with the Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords, I'm pretty sure, Virgo, you're probably very well versed in... Let's look at the bottom of the deck. King of Pentacles. I was just going to say that. This is a provider. This is a provider because Ten of Pentacles is like you have what you need to have. You've been able to save. You've been able to do what you need to do, right? The adorned God. Obedience causes harmony and peace and claims, calms anger in anyone. Virgo. This person must really know how to push your buttons. All right, Virgo. This is my Archangel Tarot deck. And this right here is going to tell us what are your strengths, your weaknesses within each position. So I'm going to get each one a card. What do we need to know for the present time for Virgo? That's your one message. What do we need to know for the love position for Virgo? To the Michael. What do we need to know for the you position for Virgo? Five of Michael. What do we need to know for the environment for Virgo? Another mic. You're definitely divinely guided. Wow, that's the world. What do we need to know for the process or the journey for Virgo? Ooh, wow. And the bottom of the deck is King of Ariel. Successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. Because you are a provider. You are a provider. Mm-hmm. Because that's the thing. The, the suit of Ariel is all about material material aspects. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. That before, I used to think... Because I'm so used to following colors and interpreting colors as well, too. Before, I used to think that, um, you know, because pink and green are shock, heart chakra colors. So I used to think that that was like the king of cups. Um, but it's not. It's actually the king of pentacles, which you got it twice. King of pentacles and king of pentacles. So, yeah, you're definitely on your way, Virgo. It's just this one little... I want to use the word one little hiccup. But I want to show you this picture. This angel is kissing that person's forehead. It's kind of like, we'll be there. You could be forgiven for whatever it is that, you know, we need to forgive you for. Now, um, up here in the present time, we're getting page of Gabriel. Page of Gabriel is energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Quite a few readings have gotten the page of Gabriel coming out. Um, so it says, follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. Okay. So, yeah. This is definitely something here where they're calling for you, which Page of Gabriel to me is kind of like Page of Wands. Because this is more like the energetic side, the action side. So I feel like once you discover what your passion is, you really need to follow through with it. And you really need to follow it. Um this is the love section 
So remember, we've got the death card there under. We've got the four of wands there. We've got the ten of Michaels here. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. I feel like this is a ten of swords. And this is the five of swords. Michael or swords. Michael is all about the thinking process. How to clear away the challenges that you're facing. The communication. How people speak to you. How you speak to them. You know, it's all about the swords. And I feel like... You know, Ten of Swords in the normal tarot is an individual laying on the floor and straight up stabbed with a bunch of swords. But the fact that the ballerina here is able to do that, is able to turn her back, knowing that they are protected, I definitely feel like this is a good um, hint for you to take notice that you are divinely protected. Now, for the you position, you're getting five of Michael. This is the this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome and consider taking a more uplifting approach. And the nine of wands and then the queen of cups. So it's kind of like, is this an individual that you asked for forgiveness from? Or you were trying to deal with them and now they're... Like you wanted a last chance with this person, they gave it to you, but it's it's almost as if the healing process hasn't even happened. Or you feel like there hasn't even been no healing at all. Now here, the Empress with the World card, this is the environment. This is Archangel Michael here. Um, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So I'm going to tell you this right now, even though it feels like there's been a an ending of some sort, but I do feel like the Empress being here is sort of like a good, good indicator of you're manifesting. You're manifesting and you're getting things done that you need to get done in your favor, right? Now here with the uh, process or the journey, Ten of Cups, Archangel Metatron in the reverse, which is your Archangel. And then you're getting on top, New Beginnings, Archangel Jeremel, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Maybe you're wondering too, Virgo, if somebody is able to forgive you. This is kind of like letting me know, yes, they could. Because you are their wish fulfillment. Okay, before 10, there's nine. Um, but also, I feel like they need to get into this mode. If this person has not gotten into this mode, they need to make the changes for you. 21 plus 20 is 50, 51. No. Yeah, five, 41 and then five, because I add them. Um, so number five is the number of change. And this is definitely, I feel like there's a clear, clear indicator of if there's someone that you want them to forgive you, Virgo, they definitely will. You just have to create the action for that. You have to discover whatever it is. Um, and if it's not that, then you just have to discover your courage to move forward from a situation. Okay, that's not going to go for all of you. You know, uh, many of you are going to have different versions, okay, of the story so now what do we need to know this is the angel guide this is possible solutions to your questions you guys so at the present moment what do you want virgo to know you want virgo to know the way is composure and they're saying yes composure and they're very excited about the composure okay what do we need to know about the love position here for virgo vulnerability and freedom okay that's definitely a clear indicator of needing to forgive yourself what else do we need to know okay this one is going here with trust the universe as things are happening within the connection or within the relationship you guys trust the universe whether it's good whether it's bad trust it if you cannot begin to trust it, then how can you trust anybody else, okay? Um, what do we need to know for the environment for Virgo? 
There you go. They want you to remember this is a learning experience. Okay, what do we need to know about the process or the journey for Virgo? Oh, we're getting take a step back. Sorry, that's my dog. I try to have her inside, but she don't want to be in here. Didn't I tell you trust the process, you guys? Divine timing. Divine timing is here. Everything will happen in due time. Take a step back from the situation. Learn from it. Whether everything that was good, learn from it. Everything that was bad, learn from it too. Now let's see here. This one is my ooh. Oh, I thought they all flipped over. I was gonna say, uh-uh. Um, this one is the angel answer cards, and this is how they feel or what they want. Okay, so huh, straight up. Choose a different direction. Mm. What else do you want, Virgo, to know? Vulnerability and freedom. Yes, that's a go. That gets a green light. What do you want them to know about them with the trusty universe? Big, happy changes. Big, big, happy changes. And what do you want them to know about their environment? Trust the learning experience. Trust that you're being guided. Okay. And about the process for Virgo. Mm. Take a step back and they're saying no. So you might be questioning. You might be questioning whether you're going to take a step back or not. But they're saying no, like don't go for it. Take a step back. Bottom of the deck is there's a lot of success. So within divine timing, there will be a lot of success, Virgo. Let's see here. What we need to know about the angel and ancestors. This is what they expect from you guys. So I'm going to pull three cards for this. I really hope my audio sounds good. All right. Ooh, Druid, holding the space. Yes, absolutely. Hold the space as long as it takes, Virgo. As long as it takes. Magic Guardian, unlock your magic within. See, you're definitely being guided to do something here. And whatever it is that you're here to do, Virgo, it is spectacular. I just heard spectacular. I don't know. Some of these words that be coming out sometimes. Ooh. Shaolin, master. Be graceful in movement and action. I like that. Bottom of the deck here. Fire guardian. Ignite your passions, Virgo. I'm going to tell you right now, you guys are earth sign, though. All right? You guys are earth signs. So you guys are going to light everything on fire. Hmm. Be careful with that. Anyways, Virgo, thank you so much for all of you guys tuning in. I truly appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you would love to join the channel, you're more than welcome to be here. As always, this is a safe place for you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.